Hey y'all, this is Susan with Staying in Stitches. Um, I hope you've had a good week since the last time I talked to you. Um, I've had a pretty good week this week. Um, Friday? Yeah, Friday. Um, we had some family come in. They're not staying with us. They're staying up at the beach. But we've been spending time with them this weekend, so I haven't had a lot of time for stitching over the weekend. I've managed to get a little bit, but not a whole bunch. And so today I'm recording this on Sunday afternoon, so the hair, all that, it is what it is. But um, we rode up to the beach on Friday and um, just sat up there and relaxed. And then yesterday... Yeah, yesterday we met them and was to get something to eat. And we went to Yamato's Japanese Steakhouse in there at Broadway at the beach, at Myrtle Beach. Ate there. It was really, really good. And then um, after that, we walked around Broadway at the beach a little bit and just went in two stores. It was pretty crowded and just tried to stay away from everybody, but it was crowded. We wore our mask and stuff. And, um, after that, we went back to where they were staying. We sat in a um, swing uh, by the ocean and just relaxed. And then after that, about 9.30 at night, we went and played a round, 18-hole round of putt-putt. I done better than I thought I would. Um, I normally just play that kind of thing for fun anyway. Um, and we went and played around the putt putt, and after that, we got we left the beach about 10:30 and got home 15, 20 minutes later, and um, and we slept in this morning, and we just had a lot of fun. So, anyhow, I just want to kind of tell you how my weekend went and stuff. So let's jump right into the cross stitch and stuff. Okay. <clears throat> I believe it was in my last video or the video before that. It was the freebie Erica Michaels that she had designed a long time for Rainbow Gallery. I did try to Google an uh, image of maybe someone who had finished one or something. Excuse me. I cannot. I could not find anything. This is done in Rainbow Gallery specialty threads. And I started it this week. And, um, and this is how far I've got on it. Let me find something to put behind this. Okay, there we go. That's better. I do have this. I was working on it yesterday before we left to ride up to the go to the beach. And uh, and so this one's just kind of hanging out here. But this is the ant legs and stuff. And they're, they're stitched underneath here. It's as far as the bottom row goes to. Go on now. Not even my dog. And I about got the word fun. And this really pretty green. And then in the summer sun, I'm going to try to bring it in and see that's like a kind of like a ribbon. There's that green again, and that's like a ribbon. And then for the ant bodies, you use black seed beads. I got to come back in and put for the head and the center of the body. And then there's some black seed beads that goes in this watermelon. But that's what I got to do. I got to finish the end. Like I said, I was stitching up until the time it was for us to leave to meet them for supper last night. I just got to stitch the end, do the seed beads, and this is done. And I think I'm going to turn this into a pillow. I believe for this here, this come with the kit. All of the fibers and the cloth come with the kit that I purchased secondhand. And, um, and it's like a 10 count Davos, something like that, I believe. But um, so I've worked on that. I started that, I guess, about... Wednesday or Thursday, I searched the edges and then put it on this type of frame. Okay, what I've also worked on this week is my Mirabilia, the South Seas Mermaid, and I didn't unroll it. And I really need something to put. Let me tighten this up so it won't be going around everywhere on me. I should have done that to start with. Okay, there we go. That's getting better. Top on this side, so I can try to handle this thing. Okay, but here's this. This week I've worked 
I considered doing her skin one over one, but I changed my mind because there are some blended colors there. These right up in here and out, out there on her arm. And I just didn't want to fight with um, trying to figure out what colors would be best. And I just decided to do the skin called for. And I'd done her hair. And down there in the green, I got some of those beads on. And I st stitched a little bit more of the seaweed leaves. Uh, oh, and i done some beading out here, right there. This thing's so big, it's kind of fiddly to mess with. But... She's coming along, so really about all I got left is to do, finish up her skin, her arms, her face, her chest, um, her hair, and then finish off the beading, which I've got a lot of it done, um, and then there's a little bit of stuff off to the side of the seaweed and stuff, and I've got a lot of that done. Sorry, I'm bending over out of view, but um, setting stuff, I set stuff down around me and keep it in this little thing here, so... Hopefully within, I'd say I'd give myself approximately two weeks. I could probably get a lot done this week on her because this other project's about done. <clears throat> um, you know, I'd like to have her done. She's been ongoing for a while. Um, and the thing is, I love the fabric. I get a lot of compliments on the fabric when I post them on um, Instagram and stuff. Like, ooh, I love your, and I love the fabric too. But what I should have done, this is actually not really my first mirror. It was not my first mirabilia. I've worked on another one, but it was a long, long time ago, and it was on 14 count Ada. And although I do stitch on Ada, you'll see that a lot. Um, I just hadn't picked it up, and this is the first time I've done one on a higher count. My recommendation is if you've never stitched a mirabilia but you're used to stitching on higher count or you're going to stitch one on higher count is with any hand dyed fabric. If it calls for 32 count fabric, don't get a 30 I, I recommend not to get a 32 count hand dyed fabric because when they I've actually dyed fabric myself for myself. When you dye fabric, it shrinks majority of the time. The fa the it just shrinks and so if you get a 32 count hand dyed fabric for a mirabilia you're really working on probably about a 35 to depending on how much it shrinks to a 36 count technically and the beads are not going to lay I've had to admit like if there's like a row of five six plus beads I've had to admit at least one or two because it's the 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 weave is so tight because it's not a true 32 or 28 count fabric because it shrunk so that it was charted for that fabric without so you know what I'm saying it's just something to take into consideration or do a little stitch test piece to see if um, you know how the beading works and stuff how tight it's going to be and these are even with the seed beads the bigger beads that's on this piece they're sprinkled out where they're not like clustered and pushed up against each other so tight uh, but it's even the little seed beads those are the ones I'm having to admit a couple here and there I mean are you gonna be able to tell it absolutely not um, but still it's something that you it kind of frustrates or at least me a little bit so that's a little tip also I forgot to tell you on this one here there's two little places I did change on this design in the ease here See how I connected that stitch right there to that other stitch? It didn't have that stitch, and to me that E looked funny without it being connected. Same thing up here, I connected that stitch. It wasn't connected, but other than that, I have stitched that as charted. Um, if y'all come across that chart, because it was a freebie chart, I showed it in my other video, previous video, I believe. You can stitch it. You can pick out your own colors, your own specialty, you know, specialty threads, your own any hand dyed threads you got uh, that'd be great for a leftover hand dyed thread project um but the kit that i bought it with has all those none of none of that right there is embroidery flaws uh even where the red was done in the watermelons it's this and the black for the ant legs it's like a thick 
I don't know what to call it. And I ain't got the pattern here to tell you exactly the name of what it is. But anyway, it, the only thing you use embroidery floss that did not come with the kit is to use some black embroidery thread to attach the seed beads with. So, and I've got plenty of that laying around left over from kits. Okay. Um, next up is another whip I want to show you. And this is an older whip, probably a year or two old, and I worked on it last last year. It's the a Dimensions Gold Collection Petite. It's called Quiet Night. And I want to get probably pick back up on this and get started. I love that little fox there. That's so cute. Um, <clears throat> but here's my progress on this the last time I touched it. Let me grab up that thing again. Um... You can kind of see the, the card stuff or the pattern on there reflected. I've had to turn the light on in here, and every time I've recorded the la this one and the last two times I've got back into recording my videos, it has been cloudy. And if you hear the lawnmower, my husband's outside mowing. Um, it has been cloudy and overcast and raining off and on. That's what it's been doing today. So hopefully we'll eventually get a sunny day. But here's my progress on this. I do have quite a bit of it done, and there's that cute little fox, and the trees, I love that big pine tree back there. Um, a lot of, all this down here, yeah, all that down there is half stitches. I believe that black blue right here is half stitches, and then these are cross stitches, the full crosses, of course, here. Um, so, as you can see, I've got a lot of it done. The houses, I don't know. I wondered if that was two separate houses, but for that to be out in the country like that, I don't know if it's kind of like one part of the house. Some of these older country houses have big sections that connect, but then there's that big pine tree in between them. I don't know, um, because this is definitely out in the country, this scene. Anyway, I love it. Um, it's... It, when I when I see this picture with the falling snow, because we live at the beach, but I'm originally from North Carolina up towards the mountains of North Carolina. Um, I was born and raised in Le Lenore, um, and near H we lived in Hickory for quite a few years before moving back down here to the beach. Um, this is just so peaceful to me. Um, so we did get snow up there. But down here at the beach, we don't. Well, we have. Let me take that back. We have gotten snow before, but it's very far and few between. I remember right after my girls was born, back in 1999, it snowed down here. And it was such an odd thing to see snow at the beach because we rode up to the ocean. And to see it snowing and to see the ocean, it's just it was just unusual. But anyway, um... There's that. So I'm wanting to get back started on that pretty soon. Um, last week I showed you sad news. Last week I showed you three Mill Hill kits. I was hoping to get FFO fully finished objects. I did not get to those this week. I worked on these other projects and just stitched, and um, I just didn't have time or. I could have probably carved out some time, but I just didn't get to it. So hopefully next week I can have those done. We'll see. So on to some stash and haul and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> I have these here laid out because I'd like to get started on them soon. They are... I believe would be pretty quick stitches and just to get them stitched this is bent creek the pumpkin sampler i believe the name of it is it's got the sticker on top yeah the pumpkin flower sampler um it calls for hand dyed threads and so i'm trying to hunt those down some of them are you know some of them i'm fine i believe all these call for hand dyed threads this is a jbw designs halloween alphabet let me show you the front, and then there's a better picture on the inside. I'm sorry for any glare. 
but here on the inside is a I just love the colors on that and I just think it's really cute that little squirrel there um I'm wanting to get those stitched up the autumn ones this is another JB De designs called a very merry autumn I picked these up in Florida when I mentioned last week I'd done the Mill Hill kit at another cross stitch place we went to um, for a really good price she had these in the clearance bin now this here I think I got off somewhere else this is the sweetheart tree called Christmas Bell and it comes with the little things but not the seed beads which I found was a little unusual this is another JBW Designs called Christmas Tree Collection 2. Um, another JBW Designs uh, called the Reindeer Sampler. Um, and here's another JBW Designs, and I put this with it wanting to stitch it. But I may wait to after I... Uh, get these done because to me this seems more springy summer jbw designs alphabet hearts let me see if it's got an yeah it does i just think that's a really pretty alphabet okay here's heart and hand we won santa 2019 and it comes with a little charm Oh, didn't mean to show the chart. Sorry. Hopefully, that was just a quick. Um, <clears throat> when in doubt, look up. It's by four of my boys. It's uh, I like snowman. This one here, I'd like to get to stitching too. It's called. It's by Sunflower Samplings Autumn Basket. Just reminds me of a quilt block layout there. Cinnamon Heart Needleworks uh, Nantucket Sampler. I love this and I love, I would stitch both of these. Um, here's this one, it's called Fall from From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. Wendy. I just love that too. I'm getting into the mood to stitch, of course, fall things. Um, here is Can Canterbury Designs Favorite Quilt Squares number three. I don't really like the colors. It's The colors on this to me seems to be very dated. But I found that if you kind of look up the colors, that even the newer charts, the colors, when you take, especially on some of these older ones, when you take a picture, they look better when you pull the colors or stitch something than what they do on the front. But still yet, to me, I don't know. I think I would maybe switch out the colors on this. Um, this here is Dragonfly Fairy uh, from Custom Crafts Inks. I don't know when I would ever stitch that, but I love that. Is that not gorgeous? The colors in that. It's just, oh, I don't know what that dragonfly is on, and there is the fairy riding the dragonfly, but I don't quite know what that is, but it's still beautiful. Um, this here is by Can Canterbury Designs, Quilts in a Day, number one. Now, I like a lot of these colors a lot better, but, you know, like that purple one there, and that and but a few of them I believe I would change out the colors on and on the back they show how they put some some of those in an afghan okay here is a Mill Hill kit I was just about to search the th edges on the it came with 28 count even weave and I'm wanting to get started on this one very soon. It's a it's an older one. It's Treasured Holiday Sampler Kit called Blue Twilight. And I just when I purchased it, it just come this way. I purchased it secondhand a long time ago off of eBay, I believe. But it's got everything 
the little and all the bead packets and stuff and so that may be a start this week um just my luck <laughs> i'd say i'm pretty much a monogamous stitcher and then now i'm wanting to start all the things um it could be just the times of everything and just ready to start new things I'm wanting to start this probably soon too. I think it'll start stitch up really quickly. It's a Hollyhocks bookmark kit. Um, textile heritage collection. And it comes with the tassel already made. And the edging on the bookmark there is already finished. But those are Hollyhocks, I'm pretty sure. And it just says summer, but I'm still trying to hold on to summer. Um, this here is by Shepherd's Bush. It's a kit, and it's called Old Glory. I think that is so pretty. And it's got the, of course, the buttons and the seat, and then some silk floss, and regular floss, or is it all silk floss? Kind of looks like all silk floss to me. Um, I like that. I'd like to get started on that soon. And then, we're rounding the end here. This here, I've finished, completed one, and I need to pull it when I'm ready to FFO it, and I'll show it to you guys. It was a beach one. Um, it had a saying. It was so nice and lovely. But I had got this last year at the, this past September, last September. It's been almost a year. We went to the Charleston, uh, to Charleston, to the uh, APQS quilt show there. And I'd bought a couple of these kits uh, from the, a booth. And it's by The Good Life. And this, of course, depicting a quilt. And it comes with this already printed on this 100% cotton, but it's not thin cotton material. It's hard to kind of explain. So you don't have to back it with any muslin like you do some embroidery. And it comes with a variegated thread. And, um, and so... I picked that up and I just had it laying here on the corner because I've been wanting to start it for a while and thought I'd give you guys a sh show that. This here I got from Walmart. I've opened it to kind of take a look at the kit contents, but um, it's an embroidery kit and it's called Blush Roses. So there's so many things I want to start, so many. And one other thing, I meant to show you, this was in the basket to show you last week, and when I got down to, you know, taking everything and reorganize it, I just find it's more easier to kind of keep a basket, well, it's actually a little tub thing, that I put stuff in and stuff, and then I can have it there and have it all one place, and then when I'm done with the video, I can put everything, you know, go through the bucket and put everything up. But these were in the bottom because they were kind of small, and I wanted to open them and use them, but I wanted to show them to you guys first. Pick these up from Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99 plus tax, of course, and I wound up getting them for $0.74. Cent. And it says yarn, and then a pineapple, and then a llama, and then a ball of yarn. So, they're enamel top straight pins. Oh, they're really long. I mean, they're prob they're at least the pin itself without the top and thing is three inches long. I thought these would be good for counting pins or counting and marking your place and all that stuff. For seventy four cent, you can't go wrong. So, oh, here's these. I meant to show you guys these. These here, that lady in that same booth had a basket. Maybe you can see the cloth better. It says these are hundred um, percent cotton. And see how it's kind of textured? And see how the back is? To me, at first, I thought it was upholstery fabric kind of thing, but then the design... Sorry, I don't know why the video done that, but the design is on there. And um, it my camera just stopped all of a sudden, so I'll have to merge those two together. Because I don't want to spend a lot of time editing. That makes false to no fun for the person making it. But anyway, that's on there. This didn't come in a kit. She just had these in a basket. And you can use leftover floss. They're both the same design. You can use leftover floss, whatever, and, and colors you want, and stitch those. Um, 
and I thought about at least one of them making it into a little pin cushion would be really cute and I grabbed up two of them for whatever reason maybe if I ever stitch one and give to somebody or whatever but the, oh just really quick I did get in some fat quarters I got in a lot of quilt stuff um and I know if there's any quilters I got some Halloween prints in there and then some of those just a quick show show I have decided I believe I am going to start up a quilt channel I believe I'm going to work on that this week getting um getting the new channel set up and I will announce that and stuff and getting my first video recorded um so I am going to kind of do that I believe but I hope everyone is doing really good uh staying safe staying healthy um I will admit, yesterday at Broadway at the Beach, I did get a little nervous. It was a little bit crowded, but it is outdoors, uh, walking around. But some people had masks on, some people did not. Uh, I wore mine. Um, it comes to a point where you kind of have to live a little bit, you know what I mean? Uh, but still yet be safe, but make your choices wisely. And for each person, it's different of what you're going to do, you know, to get out of the house. Um, we just went into two stores and I, it, with everything going on, I guess it just changes a lot how you do things. Usually we would go in stores just to, you know, is there anything in there I might be interested in just to browse, just to look, but we, we only went in two stores and we knew in each store we was 99.99% sure we was going to make a purchase. And we went in, got what we was going to get, and got out. Um, so, it kind of do to my um, sister-in-law. She works in a hospital setting. I'm not going to get in much detail. And she knew of a doctor who tested positive for COVID. She lives out of state. And he had to be out of work for two weeks. And he come down here to the beach for two weeks. That says a lot if a doctor will do that. He come down here for two weeks and he had COVID. <laughs> Stay at home, quarantine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you tested positive. But I mean, he's fine, he's back at work and stuff, but I don't know, that just kind of bothered me a little bit that a doctor would do that. Um, so anyhow, and I don't know whether or not to even bring up the current situation in these videos or not. I probably won't too much from now on because, not unless, I don't know how. Because when I watch videos, I don't sometimes really want it to be talked about because I'm trying to get away from it, the issues. Uh, and other times, you know, I like to hear and see how other people's handling the situation. And then, you know, but you do what you feel comfortable with. Um, you know, I'm not telling anyone to do A, B, C, or D. I'm just talking about my situation and what's going on around me. But anyhow, let's just with that and move on. So I'm going to work on the South Seas Mermaid. Hopefully, I'd love to get her done. I can't wait to get her done, and I hope to get her FFO'd fairly quickly, get her on the wall. I just think she's beautiful. The summer, the fun, fun in the summer sun, um, I'll have that done probably today. When will it get made into a pillow? Don't know exactly. And from there, I may either jump to the winter one, the quiet night, or I may start one of the bookmark or um, what other one? Oh, the Mill Hill. And I need to finish rounding and looking online for the hand dyed threads for those ones I said, the autumn ones especially. That was by JBW and um, the Sweetheart Tree. Those threads, some of the threads are kind of hard to find. So wish me luck in that endeavor. But anyhow, um, I just want to say happy stitching, and everybody take care, and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye!